I think we can all agree there's nothing really exciting about Sony MPF batteries. We all have loads of them, loads of third party ones that we have filling up our drawers because they're used for everything across the industry. They've become such a standard over the last 20 years, whether it's in cameras, on the backs of our monitors, or in transmitters, or even light fixtures. However, Small Rig have decided that maybe it's time for an update. Today, we are looking at the Small Rig NPF 970 battery. Yes, this is a new battery from Small Rig for the NPF system, a system that has been around for a very long time indeed. Now, Small Rig did send me this to review. However, they have no say in this video and they don't get to see it before I put it up. I don't need to spend too long really talking about what an NPF battery is because you know what they are because they appear absolutely everywhere and you probably have tons already. And maybe you need to go out and purchase another one. And until now, it really is just a case of picking whatever random brand you could find on Amazon. However, I think with this small rig one, finally we have a good option from a reputable manufacturer that gives us some extra features that really brings this battery system up into the 21st century. First off, being a small rig product, of course, it's got great build quality. I love how they've got different colors. I think it just adds a bit of fun, but also it makes it easy to spot which one is yours when you've got a million of them on a table, perhaps if you're doing a shoot with other people, you can spot your ones, perhaps you pick a certain color. I think they've got the orange one here, they've got green, they've got blue, I think, and also a standard black one as well. So it's really nice to have some color choices. On the back, they actually copied their sort of glossy uh, finish that they've got on their other batteries, like their Velox. And you've even got the button so you can check the amount of charge that you've got left in the battery. Now, this isn't the first MPF battery that I've seen that has uh, USB ports, but what is really special about this is the fact it's got 35 watt power delivery USB-C in and out on it. That is incredibly useful because it means you can then charge this using your standard mobile phone charger, which makes it far more flexible than having to use a dedicated charging system. You know how on this channel I bang on all the time about how great USB-C is and how really every product nowadays should include it as a means of powering or charging. It just means that you don't have to worry about bringing chargers with you or dedicated chargers with you, which is incredibly useful when you're in a location that perhaps you can't get access uh, to a camera store that might actually sell the Pacific charger for your particular camera or piece of camera equipment. It's such a universal plug. Everyone's gonna have one in their bag. You can easily borrow one from someone. And it just means that all your kit is standardized and just makes charging so much easier when out in the field. This, to be honest, is the biggest reason why I think you wanna pick one of these up. Obviously, the build quality is great. It's nice to have that screen on the back. They look good, but having the USB-C port on the bottom there to power devices as well as charging is definitely its USP and a big reason why I think it would be worth upgrading your old Sony MPF batteries with. In terms of simplifying your setup as well when you're shooting, having a USB-C is incredibly useful because for example, you could have this attached to your monitor, powering your monitor, but then you could have USB-C out and actually going into your camera, powering that as well. So that means one battery can power everything at the same time. Now, this isn't a new thing. We've seen it all the time with V-Lock batteries, but they are going to be larger and obviously need a bigger mounting. Uh, whereas this can just be using the existing mounting on your monitor or transmitter, and then using that USB-C to power other devices. In terms of charge time, it takes about three hours to charge up this battery, which is kind of what you expect from a battery of this size. You're not sacrificing any capacity with this either. It's got the same capacity as the other 970 batteries out there on the market, but you just gain the ability of that USB-C charging. In terms of negatives, there's not really much I can say negatively about this. It is built really well, it looks good, and it just works. It does the job that you'd expect one of these batteries to do. If I was being really nitpicky, I guess it would be nice to see a higher draw out of the USB-C. I guess there's limitations on a battery of this size and the voltage is involved. And that's the reason why it can't do 65 watt or 100 watt, which would be absolutely amazing. That would be the one upgrade I'd like to see. Uh, the other thing as well, if it had two ports on there, even if it split the power, it'd be great if you could have uh, two things plugged into this at the same time. It just opens up a few more different options for powering everything off a single battery. 
But once again, I understand there's limitations. There's limitations on space with a battery like this. You know, already this is extremely compact. They already have to squeeze everything in along with the battery itself. So I'm not surprised that we're limited to one. The only thing I probably would say is maybe I would have sacrificed the USB-A port on the top. I probably would have got rid of that because less and less devices use USB-A now and actually gone with a second USB-C instead. There are, of course, plenty of other options out there. I don't think anyone buys Sony versions of these batteries anymore, and I think you're mad if you were to anyway. There are some cheaper alternative versions of MPF batteries out there that from unknown brands um, that have USB-C. They look good. I've used a couple in the past, and there's nothing really wrong with them. But certainly the build quality wasn't as good as this. It doesn't have the nice screen. And you can just trust this small rig product, I think, far more than other products that are out there on the market. If you want to pick one of these up, then please make sure you use my affiliate link down below as it massively helps the channel. It really does make a huge difference when people purchase stuff through there, uh, more so than any Google ads could ever do. If you enjoyed this video and you're considering different battery options, then make sure you check out my review of the Swit V-Lock batteries. These are awesome 65 watt input and output V-Lock batteries that are definitely worth a consideration if you are in the market for choosing a battery for your camera setup.